mean, it's a dying market, as we say. Um, a lot of it has moved to Surrey, but uh, with the places that matter, it, it, it it's uh, the purpose of it is to remember the historical places and share those stories of importance. At a Vasaki event, remember? Naveen and he's like, man, I used to come there and eat, and eat your gulab jamun. He goes, well, he Punjabi <laughs> market is obviously very unique in Vancouver's history um, and location-wise. And I think it's really that people recognize that these are not places that are just uh, historically important, but that are still relevant today. And we try to engage with places that people can learn the history of before, but also look to, to the future and see how these places have actually shaped Vancouver, shaped neighborhoods, and are really important in terms of memory, but also future place-making and uh, to the communities people, around them. What this place meant to them. And the people literally in tears, even young people. Yeah. This is where we came to, this is our home, and it seems to be disappearing. But maybe not, because I think there's revival, right? I think there's some exciting things happening like here and other So I think there is that sense of preserving this space. I have a very strong connection to the uh, just South Asian history here in Vancouver. It's, uh, it's a history that often goes overlooked. Um, it's a history that's uh, been got, oftentimes gone undocumented. Um, but it's a history that very much has shaped a lot of what Vancouver has become. Chinatown has these heritage buildings that go back almost 100 years that can really speak to the built form. But when you have things from the 70s, there isn't that same connection to preserving of the building. So what does one preserve? And I think it's the story. And how do you preserve those stories in a way that still echo in these spaces as the physical forms change? That's, a good, that's an interesting way to look at the future.